Hi guys, uh, welcome to my third tutorial. On this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to slice set design and then convert that into a HTML file. All right, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is click on slice tool right here. Then you need to select the items that you wanted to slice. So first thing we wanted to do is we want us to start off by slicing this. Alright, probably that size. And I will explain why I'm slicing is too small uh, later on in the tutorial. Go to file. <clears throat> Export visa. Select continue. Then select the web. Then continue. It exists. Now this this will come up and it will ask. Then basically this is just showing you the showing you about the quality. When it asking what quality do you want and. Um, on what format you want the pictures to, I mean the export of uh, files to be so I normally use JPEG so I choose JPEG and then it's just showing you 80% um, how it looks like Let's have a look at the pictures and see if you are happy with the quality I normally use 100 because I don't want to lose any quality on my images so right, next thing I want to do is go to export and then you just choose the file where you want to export export the document to so I'm gonna choose desktop now put a new folder called uh, sliced files alright so can name that index so yeah put the images in subfolder so we will put all the images into a separate folder next thing I'm doing good option Right, so the images will be called new layout new underscore layout underscore r1 underscore c2 underscore f2 dot gif and that should be alright alright so now you just you just have to export the files to an export and that's it the job done so you go to your desktop so I'm going to slice the image and then so your apps is ready and if you wanted to make any changes to this, you just go to, you just open up a dream Weaver. There you go, yeah. The few changes that I will do is um uh we basically align the website to center normally and then um you know just uh, get rid of these big chunk of pictures and then use the smaller one to save time a lot of time like I mentioned before uh, anyway I will show you how to do all that in the next tutorial alright guys thanks for watching and hope you learned something from my tutorial thank you very much